Oh, I'll be dead. Oh! Ah! Ooh, hey. Ooh. bidet video but we wore that bidet right out we did it's all cracked and cocked over so we upgraded the bidet in the bathroom we did so we went out and we got ourselves one of the alpha ix hybrids now these are on amazon for about 459 dollars canadian or so but i'll put the link down below there if you never used a bidet then you won't understand this video but if you have used a bidet you'll totally understand this video. So this remote we're gonna mount on the wall here somewhere. I'm not sure yet where yet, but it takes two AAA batteries it does. So we'll put that actually over here so don't drop it. And then uh, if you look down here, we got our toilet we do. Now it's semi-clean, you know, as clean as the toilet can get. I did lick it and everything else, so it should be pretty good. We're gonna go and get the bracketry for this bidet. Yar. So it comes with a few things. I'm probably going to need to adjust it as we go here, but it comes with this thing here, which goes in the toilet, and it comes with a couple of ding-dongs that probably go in here, like so. There's one, there's two, so that's how they go, and then this goes on here. Put the screws through it, and just snug them up. Now, I'm not sure exactly how they go, because I've never done one of these before, so we're going to figure this out together, we are, but it looks pretty straightforward. This adjusts front to back. So we just gotta figure out on our toilet how far away from the doodad we have to be on this one. So on the day itself, it looks like it pretty much goes as close as we can get her to the toilet. So we're gonna say, let's just go dead nuts in the middle and we'll snug it up and we'll see how she fits. Right about there, Jim. So we'll snug this one up. Now as you tighten it, it crushes the doodad and pulls it in tight. And it actually feels really good. You know how these things always strip out? Yeah, this one's not gonna, because they're not plastic. So we should be pretty good with this one. Are we in this right spot? Hold on. We look pretty good right there. We're gonna have to adjust this, so I better not go too tight. Let's just give that a little snug up. It's not too bad, so let's try out the toilet seat. The toilet seat's pretty fancy. It's pretty big. Now, on this side, there is a, a push to unlock it on both sides if you want to clean your pooper. So we'll slide her in, kind of. Hold on a second here. We're gonna turn this toilet into a fabulous toilet. Uh-oh. Okay, so I see what I did wrong already, which is fine because that's why we're doing this together. We gotta flip these around so the heads of the screws don't hit the toilet as you slide it in. So that's a good thing to know and I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. You watch it? Probably not. Look down here, would you? Frick. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification if you like this kind of stuff. Be sitting over shit, you know? So this thing's Lift one way or the other way. You want to go lift down like that because if you don't, you'll run into the same problem I ran into just now. She gets all hooked up, she does. So that's no good. So I'll swing them around like so. Now if you're old and fat like me, you'll understand the need for a bidet. Because, you know. As you get older and fat, it's hard to reach your butt crack and give it a wipe job. We all hate giving her ass a wipe job. And there's nothing worse than having a shitty bum, if you know what I'm saying. You don't really get a lot of sexual playtime if you got a dirty butt. Just saying. Okay, you gotta make sure your butthole's clean, Captain. So we'll tighten this back up again. Let's go super tight this time. There we go. I think we'll be all right where it is, to be honest with you. Oh man, that's nice. Nothing like freaking toilet seat sitting tight, man. Who hates a toilet seat that moves? I do. Freaking right it do. Hold on, are we close here? Light her up. Slide her in. Oh yeah. She locked in like golden, Jen. Lift her up and have a gander. Look at that, I got her the first shot. First shot, she's in. And by the way, this Alpha toilet seat has slow lowering capabilities. Look at it, it's beautiful, eh? Doesn't slam, just goes down real nice and easy and gentle. Damn near right where we need to be. So you don't want it too close to the edge because then you pee out of the toilet. So you want to kind of keep it back as much as you can. Back here, it feels perfect. Might be a little tight, let me see. Nope, it's perfect. Yep, she locks in nice. We're nice and square to the toilet. 
Oh, we might need to go over a little. Let's go over one more notch. So you want to feel her out here and make sure you're good before you finish a job. Let's try that. Take your time when you're lining this bad boy up. And it'll make your crapping experience so much better. Because you won't have to worry about all that other stuff you worry about when you're pooping. You can't see what I'm doing, Jim. Gotta lower her down, dude. Alright, so we want to go. Oh, there it is. Oh, it snapped in without me even pushing hard on it that time. Look at Oh, the installation is so nice. So that's all there is to install the toilet seat itself. Now what we gotta do is I drill the hole in my floor because I don't have a plug down here. And I'm gonna run this cord down to the basement to plug it in. Because you gotta plug this one in because it's got heat and air conditioning and you know, everything like that. The light lights up at night so you can say, how you doing? It even comes with your steel T-piece. Some good tubing, so it's not a cheap one. We should have put this on first. So we'll put this on, like so. We'll put this on. I said, what the hell? I said, we'll put this on. Yeah, I should have done this before the toilet seat. Make sure you put this on before the toilet seat. Like so. There we go. Ow. We'll put the bottom one on. They're the main feed. Like so. I know you can't see Dick, but don't worry. Trust me, it's working good. Then we'll put this one on like so, which goes this way. So the plastic piece goes to the toilet, just so everybody knows. So we'll screw that on, and it does turn to whichever direction you want it to go, in case you want to know that too. This thing's thought of every angle it has. Hey, it's freaking mint. Oh, my wrists are dick. Okay, I gotta go get a pair of pliers. Hold on, I'll be right back. Well, it was down there, I took the liberty of plugging it in. It sounds like the fan's going, oh my god, look at it. It's got a blue light, Jim. Hey, how it's so noisy? What's the noise all about? What's humming? Oh, it's a water pump probably. All right, we need to get the water going here. Hold on a second. We got a hum and I think it's because we got power before water. Not good, but we'll get her, don't worry. Gonna make sure she's tight though. No. You can't feed the water to her without making sure your nozzles are tight. Oh, fuck, I can't get back here. Who the hell put this wall here? You just wait a minute, Mr. Toilet. Okay, let's see if we got... Don't spit at me. All right, so we got pressure going in. Got no leaks as of yet. Not a fan of the noise I'm hearing though. It's got like a humming noise. Oh, there we go, it's a toilet seat. Oh yeah, there we go. That's freaking awesome. So now that we got it done, let's see if the remote works. So we want a blow dryer butthole. What's this do? I hear water running. Oh, we got a leak. Got him. Oh, I'm dick. Hold on. Okay, we gotta shut the water off, Jim. Got a pretty good flow going here. Tell. Never fear, I'll figure her out. It's not that one. Which one is leaking? Please tell me, inquire minds want to know. I can't tell. That one. Frig. So it's definitely this. The O ring was an O ringed. <laughs> oh my god. What the f? I'll be right back. I blew an O ring. Okay, so now that I got my O ring situated, let's see if this thing even works. You have to be on it? Frig. It's got a water temperature. We'll go for a, a medium. It's got seat temperature. We'll go for a medium. It's got uh, water pressure, nozzle positioning. We'll go for a medium, energy saver, nozzle cleaning. Nothing's working. Maybe you have to be on the damn thing. Frick. Ooh, it's comfy. Don't get jealous now, okay? Does it work? Something's happening. Ah. Listen to it. I'll be dead. Oh. Ah. Ooh, hey. Oh, it's right in the G spot. That's all I get. Oh, yeah. Ooh, this seat's getting hot, Captain. Hot as two seats. Water temperature is perfect. I want a direct pulse. Ooh. Water pressure. Okay, so now, how do we dry our butt? Here, dry. Oh, decent! Well, there you go, Jim. If you're looking for yourself a good bidet, works pretty good, it does. It's even drying my butthole. I can feel it. Friggin' right it is. The only problem is, if you got a big like me, it doesn't fit in there very well, but hey, it is what it is. Stop that thing. There you go. Just like that. Nozzle cleaning. It's even got nozzle cleaning. Well, there you go. If you want yourself an alpha bidet, then check one out. The only thing is I can tell you right now is it doesn't have the pressure the other one had. 
you can give it full Monty. This one you can't get a full Monty out of it, but it pinpoints your butthole a little better than the other one does. So this one's more of a butthole projectile unit. So this one will shoot right into your butt crack. But there you go, it lights up and everything else is pretty nice. Lids don't slam. We're doing pretty good, we are. The only thing I'm noticing here is it keeps pissing. Oh, I'm on cleaning, that's why. It's cleaning the nozzle. Stop. Okay, there we go. So there you go. If you want yourself one, check it out. Link's down below. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification. And we'll see you on the next one.